Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you why my husband and I decided to move to El Salvador with our kids. So a little bit of a backstory. Back in May, in the end of May, we were just really considering moving to El Salvador because of Bitcoin and all of these things. And we did some research and the things that we heard about the country weren't very nice, but you know, we know better than to take what the media says and we lived in Florida, so we were like, okay, let's hop on a plane, it's a two hour flight, and let's go check it out. We came here, and before, like not even two days into our trip, we just knew we were moving here. We were just like in love with the country. So here are the reasons why we decided to move to El Salvador. Number one, you have heard before that the people here are, are kind, but you cannot quantify that. Like seriously, I know you have watched other videos because I had binged on all the other videos out there and they all talked about how kind people are and it's so true and it's like crazy how kind people are. For example, when we were visiting that one week that we came here, uh, we had gone to the supermarket to do some shopping and we grabbed a bunch of fruits and veggies, put it in our cart, went to pay. We get to the cashier and she was like, oh, you guys didn't bag it and weigh it before you got here. Don't worry about it, let me do it for you. Now mind you, there was a line behind us the, the, the cashier didn't get mad, she just picked it up and went and we were like, what is happening here? Because about two years ago, we lived in Italy and same thing had happened. But the lady got really upset at us that we didn't know that we needed to bag everything up and bring it to her already, you know, with the prices and weights and everything. So that right there was just like such a, a small act of kindness. Nobody was angry with us, even in traffic, like traffic here sucks, but people are super chill. It's very rare that people are just like honking their horn and just being angry so we just that was one of the main reasons why we decided to move here number two we have help here so we can actually afford to have a nanny and in the united states that is such a luxury and my husband and i are just it's just him and i to take care of our kids i'm the one who works i own a podcast management agency and my husband was a stay-at-home dad homeschooling our two kids and doing all the things with our kids so needless to say back in the u.s we were just very tired and we could never go out and just go on a date but here we have a full-time nanny she lives with us and just that alone was just like yes please let's just move right there right now and we love our nanny she's like every other Salvadorian out there that we have met so far, she's the sweetest, she's the kindest, and she's so hardworking and we love her. She's amazing. Reason number three why we decided to move here is there are not a lot of smokers here. So like I said, back in 2021, we lived in Europe. We moved to Portugal and then after Portugal, we went to Italy and it was just so hard for you to like catch a breath without getting secondhand smoke. And it just really blew my mind because I would take our kids to the playgrounds and people would smoke at the playgrounds on top of kids. And there was just like no respect for kids. But here it's very rare that people smoke, which I absolutely love that. Of course, there are people who smoke, but it's nothing compared to Europe, 100%. And I just enjoy that I can be outside and smell the fresh air. And I don't know if you can hear right now, but there's a little river and there's a breeze from the ocean. And it's just like I can hear the birds. And that's what I want to, what I want to experience when I go outside. I don't want to experience secondhand smoke from people around me. So that was another reason why we moved here. If you're looking, if you're doing research to move here right now in your own defense, and maybe you don't have the luxury of visiting like we did before, I can speak for your life and what it's gonna be like, but safety was obviously the number one thing that we were concerned about because we had heard so much about the gangs and this and that, and oh my gosh, we're gonna be walking one day and a bus is gonna explode in front of us. But that has not been the case. I feel super safe here. I feel safe with my kids. Um, I don't feel like I do anything differently here than I would do in the United States, right? So like when I'm walking around, I am personally like not looking over my shoulder, worried about, you know, is someone gonna come after me and take my purse or, you know, I grab my phone in my hand and I'm walking around and I feel safe here. I have never felt like in any situation where, I, you know, I was freaking out or anything like that. So. I hope that this gives you a little bit of peace of mind, especially if you're moving here with kids. Yes, it is a safe place. Of course, there are places um, where it's not so safe and obviously we just don't go there. And that's the beauty, you know, if you have Salvadorians working for you, like if you have a nanny or if you have a driver, they will guide you, they will tell you, 
don't go to Soyapango because it's not the safest area, right? So just having like a, a network around you and people do help you, people do guide you here. And yes, it's been amazing so far. I have like honestly nothing bad to say. We really love this place. My husband is from Europe, he's from Italy and he just loved it. He was just like right at home from the beginning. I'm originally from Brazil, but I have I had been living in the United States for 20 years. So pretty much my entire life was lived in Brazil. And still, I just love it here. Of course, El Salvador reminds me a lot of home just because you know it's tropical and everything else. But yes, it's been lovely here so far with the kids. People have you know the level of kindness and understanding with kids. It's again, comparing to Europe, when we were living in Europe, people loved kids but they needed kids to behave right so if you went to a restaurant kids are expected to sit and be quiet and not make a noise here they understand that kids are loud and kids like to run and kids like to laugh and sometimes kids have tantrums or a lot of times kids have tantrums so i feel like people here and it's pretty comparable to the united states at least i my experience in the us always raising my kids was was that people understood that kids have tantrums that kids have hard time and i never really had a problem in the us right like it was when we were in europe that my spirited kids had the, the hardest time because people had just expected them to behave but here it's it's the same thing compared to the united states where people are just like yes it's a child and your child is having a hard time and everything's going to be fine and they're just really kind here anyway i really hope you enjoyed this video i have so many more videos coming your way all about el salvador i want to share as much as possible because this country is really lovely and i want to do justice to this country because honestly i guarantee you that all of the things that you hear in the news all the negative things you hear in the news about el salvador not true 100 percent not true and if you're coming here welcome talk to you soon bye